Dasra in different states of India. Dasra is one of the most famous festivals in India and is celebrated in different ways in different parts of the country. Today, we are here to tell you how some of our states celebrate the famous Navratri and Dasara. First, we will talk about famous Durga Puja in West Bengal. This festival is celebrated as Durga Puja in West Bengal. We can say that this festival is the whole identity of the state as it is celebrated in a grand manner. Bengalis believe that the goddess Durga comes from heaven to the earth which is her mom's house during this festival with her children to spend five days. During these five days, the goddess is worshipped along with other deities. During these five days, all the people will be engaged in the puja pandals mainly. Several cultural programs are held. They also perform traditional dance in front of the goddess at different days and among Duluchi dance is famous. There will be varieties of foods and other shops. The celebration ends with a sweet program which is known as Bharat and Sindur Kela. Durga Puja usually celebrated in Puja Pandals which is organized by different societies, groups and clubs. However, there are many families who also organized in their home. Bengalis spent lot of money for this celebration. In 2022, more than 200 pujas were organized in the city of Kolkata with a budget of over 1 crore rupees. Durga Puja in Kolkata has been inscribed on the list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, in December 2021. Garba in Gujarat Garba is the prime attraction of this festival in Gujarat. It is basically a folk dance where people dance wearing multicolored clothes and holding sticks. It is played at night after worshipping Goddess Durga. Grand Procession of Lord Raghunath in Kulu, Himachal Pradesh The festival is celebrated with great enthusiasm in Kulu where it is celebrated for 7 days. People from Kulu worship Lord Raghunath on the fairground of Talpur Maidan. Also, the statues of local gods and goddesses are brought to this procession. Kanya Pujan in Punjab Punjab celebrated the festival by worshipping goddess Shakti. People fast during the seven days of Navratri along with arranging Jagrata. On the eighth day, they open their fast by worshipping nine girls and Kanya Pujan. Worshipping Goddesses in Tamil Nadu Tamil Nadu celebrates the festival in a totally different way by bringing the religious feel to it as they worship Goddess Durga, Lakshmi and Saraswati. Almost every house in Tamil Nadu arranges a popular doll show during Tessera which is called Golu. Ravan Behan in Uttar Pradesh. In Uttar Pradesh, the festival is celebrated by burning the statue of Ravana, Meghnath and Kumbhakaran. The act depicts the victory of good over evil. It is celebrated in a grand manner with larger than life statues. Worshipping Nature in Chhattisgarh the festival of Dasara in Chhattisgarh is all about rejoicing nature, spirituality and presiding deity of the state. The worship, Devi, Dendishwari and unique rituals are performed on the last day. The famous Mysore Dasara 
Mysuru Dasra is a vibrant festival in Karnataka celebrated with great enthusiasm. The 10-day festival is celebrated during Navratri in the state of Karnataka. During this festival, the entire city gets decorated. It's a cultural show bringing visitors from different parts of the state and country. Mythology says Goddess Chamundeshwari Durga killed the demon Mahishashura which gave the city the name Mysuru. Since then, this festival has been celebrated by worshipping the goddess, organizing grand processions and displaying the state sword and weapons to honor the goddess in her warrior form. The most significant highlight of Mysuru Dasra remains to be Jambo Savari or the elephant procession. It starts from the Mysore palace to the Mandi Mandap. During this procession, beautifully decorated elephants are taken on the streets with one of them carrying the idol of Chamundeshwari. The parade is accompanied by traditional sword artists, dancers and musicians displaying their artistry. Hundreds of people join the procession to witness lively culture in its full glory. Also during this period, the Mysore Palace gets illuminated with thousands of lights making it a sight to behold. In Daisy Montessori centers, our children get exposure to all the national and regional festivals, events through celebration. We discuss the same in the class through bulletin boards and picture cards apart from practical celebration. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.